Hi folks, right, I'm going to show you how I did the ballerina kit, the display that I've done. Um, and it has been sold, um, thank you very much to the buyer. Um, I know you're going to love it, and I know she's going to display it. Um, I've put a little black dot here just so that I can keep a gauge of where I am, because I don't want to disturb uh, the camera too much if I can help it. Now, what I've done for the front of mine for this one, uh, the last one I put in the cameo, if you remember, well, this one I'm actually using. It's like a triple bow with a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous iridescent butterfly and then just some pearl trim in the middle. With the uh, little fancy dangly bits, it's all it's going to be pink and cream could end up all pink <laughs> we'll see how we go along not perfect but um, you don't need it perfect and i'm quite happy with uh, how that's turned out i'm going to just well i'm not quite happy actually now i've said that i just want to turn it round a little bit yeah that's better um how i did it just uh, did three different loops like circles with the ribbon gathered them all up in the middle uh at an angle and then put the butterfly on uh, and then the trim and then just added the bits to the back and you're not going to see that because that's going to be on the project so that's done ready now what we need are the plinths and i do have to uh, paint those first um the thing i didn't get was my paint uh, but i'm going to gesso it anyway um yes i'll be back in a minute Right, there we are. Um, I'm going to do some gesso on that first and then I will start and cover that. So for this I'm just going to use the heavy gesso in the white. you don't know you there are two different kinds of heat tools you've got the long elongated one that's uh, blows everything everywhere this is a ranger's heat it uh, craft tool and it ha it is quiet ish a lot quieter than the other one but it's a lot easier to use and it doesn't blow your things all over if you're embossing things it doesn't blow it pop that on the floor. I'm uh, just going to wash my brush out because I do want to use the pink. Might need one or two coats. We'll see. So I'm going to paint from the lid which I normally do. For those of you that don't know, oh, that's pink pink, isn't it? Hmm. Well, good job everything's pink and will match. <laughs> that's all I can say. Yeah. That's pink, all right.
So I'm just going to leave that to dry while I cover the other one. And for that I'm using the Pin Flare book binding glue. Now I use this a lot with a lot of my projects. And as you will see, it sometimes has a, a skin to it. I'll just move that out of the way. Uh, I'm going to stick to the same brush. Hope you can see this. Let me just check. Yep. Now it is thick. Mine is um, quite thick. So what I'm going to do is just to water mine down. Sorry if you can hear that pinging. It never stops. It drives me mad. Look, I've got the colour in there now, which I didn't want, but hey-ho. Not everybody could afford the actual ballerina kit, so my logic in thinking was to sell um, to sell the plinths, the rods, and the ballerina shoes separate, and then they can do what they like with it. Um, that way, everybody could get hold of the ballerina shoes. So, I'll just lift that up. On that and then once again just cut it around the edge and then we can discard that now I'm just gonna very carefully remove this because that's finished with put your lids on tightly folks and we will just clear that away now this does have to uh, dry off a little bit so I'm going to help it along and hopefully not melt the fabric <laughs> This will, where well you can see the glue, this will the, um, soak itself away as it dries. It'll just disappear and it dries clear. Okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. Now, you need uh, something to make holes. Now, you could have done this first if you wanted to, but I didn't. And I don't see a necessity to do so. You need four holes in it because you're going to put one plinth on top of the other. And I use this um, crocodile, croc, crocodile. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to put one hole there. Um, slot it in there and again and do one there. And then slot it in again. One there. They don't have to be exact, but yeah, get them in. Don't put them on the edge because it'll just snap and break and it's pointless then. But what you do have to do is to match them up. So. I'm going to turn mine upside down. No, 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 no. Don't be silly, Fiona. Fiona, you can't do that. See, I did mine um, last time before I did this and I made a mistake because I couldn't get them to line up properly. And I'm just marking them out. 
there. And then we can just cut that. Okay. Now, the rods that I'm using on this one and the rods that you all have got in your kits are actually bigger than the holes I'm making. But um, you can, when you can get this out. Oh, dearie me. You can uh, just slightly, you don't need to do much, but do a bigger hole. Using two cuts. Um, but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to cut mine down. Now here's the rod and as you can see it doesn't fit. So we'll just move that out of the way for a minute. And the easiest way to do that is just to take a knife and just slice away at the bottom of the rod. You're going to cover them around the bottom anyway. I don't need that paper on. Take it off. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to, or you could do if you wanted to, cover these up at the bottom anyway. So you only need to do that and then they slot in where you want them. We're just going to check this out. So what we're going to do is that will just fit into that. Now, I want mine leaning. How do I want to lean in? Because I've got... What you do is you have two shorts, but one shorter than the other. And then these two at the back stay the same. So... I'm going to have mine leaning this way, like I did before. I do like it that way. And that's where mine will sit in there. And that one will sit in there. Don't worry about them. Then we'll glue in. Um, and then... We have that one sitting in there, and that one. Sitting in there. Oops, sorry for that, sorry. And they have to be glued. So, if I knew where my non-stick mat was, <laughs> I could glue it. Because I'm going to end up with it on my table, aren't I? Just bear with me. Right, I've got it. Oh, I've got it. Now, I'm going to start and uh, glue these in. And all I do is just drop the glue... Sorry about that. Into the centre. And just hold that in place.
right as you can see i've now got that fixed on now what you do is when you i've had to change this because i didn't quite have it in the right spot what i've put on back to front upside down but um it's now leaning forward and it's now leaning to one side which is exactly what i want now i'm not covering these here uh, put in paint um and what you do is you glue these in so once you've shoved them in the holes clip them and then just glue a little bit of glue on top and being on top of the fabric will actually help that and you can always decorate around the edges with flowers and things like that and also underneath you just got a, a little bit of glue underneath the leg there and you can use a knife to you know or your nail so what we're going to do now i'm going to finish the base off first not quite dry there but that will we we'll just make sure we're in view um, Right, see if I can lift this up a little bit. Sorry, but it's uh, really awkward because now I've got a full base underneath. Um, but what I'm going to do is add some trim. Now, move that out of the way. So basically what I'm going to do is just measure how much I... Oh, let me just see how much I'm going to need. It's got to go around there. Keep going Oops. round there, back round again. Oh, yeah. That'll do. Yeah. Just get that big piece out of the way. Now, what I've got to do is just remove that for a minute because what I'm going to do is to cut off this section. I don't need that at all. So, you'll just bear with me. I'll do it as quick as I can and speed it up for you. Let's get this back here. Hopefully, you can see. We need this is the front this is the back I'm gonna cut that a little bit closer I think just when I glue it on the um, skirt it will glue onto that edge and pin this down a little bit so it won't show and that will hold it in and it won't come off as well You just leave enough to go over the edge. There we go. And we start at the back. That's it. Lovely. So it is going to be pink and cream. I'm just pinning that onto, if you can see, just onto the edge. Oh, that's lovely. Now, problem, because the skirt's too long at the front. But you know what? I'm not going to fuss about that. So I'm going to sit this now on um, two plinths. Uh, two. I'm going to lift it up because I do want that whole front like that. So what we do is turn it upside down. Just leave that a minute. And we're going to do this section. Um, and for that, I'm just going to use this bit of 
um, very small braid and then I will chop that off. In fact I'm going to chop that off now. Oh, a little bit of glue on there. nearly lost it then we'll start at the back and work our way around to the front and that's why I said it's got to tuck over so we need to make sure we do tuck this bit in. That's it. Is that a nice, neat finish? like that there's no point in rushing things like this it doesn't get you anywhere Right, I've found this one, but I'm not sh No. And do you know what? I wish I'd put that on it now. Not sure at all. Let's just see where we go from here. So, I've got this, which is the beady trim. Not happy with this. Not happy with it. Not happy. Do you know what? I'm not. Really, really not happy with that skirt. Don't think they all need to have one on. I want a smaller one. <laughs> there we go yeah I'm going to take it off I don't like it it won't go to waste I can use it on something else I did like this I do like this that has to go on there but not yes I do like that. I'm going to change my mind and do what I want. <laughs> I think. Oh. 
Oh, yes. It just didn't feel right. So, I'm going to use this one. I'll be back in a minute. Right, what I've done now is I'm uh, attaching the trim, which is the beaded trim, because I do want a beaded trim on this. And then I will go around and fix all of this, because I don't want it to stand in. I want it to come out a little bit. Um, but when you put the trim on over a, another trim... Oh, I hope that works. What I've done now is I've added some of this trim. But I'm not liking hmm, the way it's tucked underneath. So that will have to lift out more. I'll sort that out in a minute. What I'm going to do here, though, is uh, now add some pearl, I think. Right, I'm back. So if that's uh, jolting a little bit, I've got what I needed. I just have to make sure they look good. <laughs> so, let me just see. So I'm going to put, yes, I've made the right choice. So that is going to go on there. I'm just going to make sure that sits in there properly. Yeah. Right, I've just done a little bit too much on that. there that's fine I'm quite happy with that and that's my stand apart from the um, spindles underneath which I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them yet I think we need to start working on the shoes and for that I'll be back right I'm back oh god it's been bedlam here uh, what I'm trying to do now is I'm just going to pad these shoes out I've got all the bits and pieces that I need for them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to double this to be honest and then I have to fill that let me just make sure we can see what I'm doing. You can. So I'm just going to get some filler. Now, we need to put some filler in the bottom of the shoes. I'm going to do that now. Just pull these tabs. I, I found these shoes uh, to be... Um, how can you put it? Pe more on the peach side than the actual pink I was after but not going to see much of them when I'm finished so that's fine I'm just stuffing them with some wadding 
little bit more, I think. Just the toes. Like that. Make sure I've got a little bit more in that one. I don't want the tabs in, but I need them on. I don't want to cut them off yet. So just put those to one side. And then what I need is some wadding for the shoe itself. And I don't want to do too much. And all I'm going to do is that way, I think. Wrap that over. Right, let's just have a look. You don't need a lot. Wrap that over there so it catches it. And then fold that over. Like that. I'm going to take the shoe. And we're going to push that into the shoe itself. Let's just pull this. Oops. I don't want to glue it in. I haven't put the bloody... <laughs> Never mind, I'm not doing it. Right, so. Tuck that underneath. Grip this. And then pull that shoe in a little bit like that. I'm not fussed about this at the moment. Like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all that about a little bit. Like that. And just separate that around. Just so it brings that in and then what you do is whoops a daisy just get the box off my glue gun you Oop. like that just squash that in that's fine Like that, and then we pull that back. Gorgeous, gorgeous pink trim.
There we go. Don't fuss about anything like this. It can all be trimmed off. There we go. Right, so. Now, we've got to decorate these. I'm going to use a plain white butterfly on them. And I do have to get this right. <laughs> There we go. Now it's just a matter of fixing this in like that. That's it. See? We've got that. Let me get a little bit closer. Hopefully you're still seeing what I'm doing. I hope so. Just pin that up there. like that i'm not fussed about that bit there there's a nice pair of ballet shoes now just a matter of uh, finishing them off <laughs> so what i'm going to do with i think i'm going to start with one gorgeous rose there and there I'm just going to do it there because I want to put some bits and pieces around this section. Oh, this glue gun. I need a new one. I do sell them. <laughs> I do. I sell them. The thing is, if it's on too long, mine, it does get overheated type of thing. So I do have to, and that you should never do is lay your glue gun down, ever. You really shouldn't. Just trying to get them, this, you know, equal.
they're gorgeous. Look at them. Beautiful. That's it.